And we've got breaking news tonight. Authorities captured the man accused of killing five of his neighbors in San Jacinto County, ending an intense four day manhunt tonight. Several witnesses sharing videos with us tonight of Francisco Oropesa now in custody. The FBI telling us tonight a tip led them to Oropesa. Law enforcement sources tell us he was hiding at his aunt's house at a home on Summer Hollow just east of Cut and Shoot in Montgomery County. Air 11 is live over the home right now. This is about 22 minutes away from where the shootings happened at a home late Friday night near Cleveland. These are the five people who were murdered late Friday night after they had asked Oropesa to stop firing his gun. One of the victims, a nine year old boy. We have live team coverage tonight on the arrest. Let's start with our Grace White. Grace, the FBI just gave an update in the last hour. What did they share? Really amazing how this timeline all came together. Investigators confirming that tip call came in at 515 this evening and by 630 he was in handcuffs. That tip call did come through the FBI's tip line giving law enforcement the location they needed to find Francisco Oropesa. Investigators here tonight confirmed the reward money will be paid out for that tip. And most surprising, though, where the sheriff says he was found. He was caught hiding in a closet underneath some laundry. They were they effectively made the arrest. He is uninjured and he is currently being taken to my facility in Cold Springs. We asked the sheriff if anyone else would be charged for helping Oropesa while he was on the run. He told us tonight several people are still being questioned. Now let's head to my colleague Matt Doherty, who is where the arrest took place. Grace, this is still a very active scene right now. This is as close as we're allowed to be to the home. If you take a look down the street, you can see some of those lights down there over down on that side of the block. Investigators are still at the home where Oropesa was arrested this evening. Now this is cell phone video taken from next door neighbors who say they had no idea they were living across the street from a suspected mass killer. You can see authorities leading the suspect out of the residence in handcuffs. Officials have told us this home belongs to the suspect's aunt. One of the neighbors we spoke with in the last hour told us she didn't know the family that lives in the trailer across the street. Evelyn Echevera told us she was resting this afternoon when the sounds of helicopters above her home woke her up. She still cannot believe what happened. What do you think? I mean, that this guy, the whole world was looking for this guy. I mean, it's just crazy how he was like so close to me and I had no idea. He was a really dangerous guy, so it was kind of scary when I found out. Yeah. Now, court documents show that Oropesa once lived at a home with a woman. That home is next to the place where the crime happened. She filed a protective order against him in the past. Uh, one of our reporters was not far away from here a couple of days ago. That's when there were some sightings that were reported to officials. They turned up dry, though, but turns out he was here all the time. Back to you. All right, thank you, Matt. This is in the governor, uh, Greg Abbott, tweeting within the past hour, praising law enforcement for capturing Oropesa. And earlier tonight, the governor here in Houston, where Marcelino Benito was the only reporter to ask him about tonight's arrest. Marcelino, what did he tell you? Len, the governor's office did everything they possibly could tonight to keep us from asking him any questions about this about this mass murder. But when we got the chance, we took it. Take a listen to our exchange from just hours ago. Governor, can we get Sir, your reaction to the arrest of Francisco Sir, Oropesa tonight? Thank you. Thank you. Governor, thank Francisco you. Oropesa has thank been arrested you, tonight. Thank you, Governor, Francisco Oropesa thank you. Thank you. Governor Francisco Oropesa has been arrested tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have a reaction to that, sir? Thank you, sir. Appreciate thank you. you. Say Thank that again, you very sir. Much. Thank you very much. It's hard to hear, but the governor told me, quote, law enforcement prevailed. The arrest of Francisco Oropesa breaking while the governor was on stage in Houston talking about his push for school choice. His visit overshadowed from the beginning by protesters who interrupted him, upset about his response to the shooting earlier this week. Take a look at that exchange. You don't care, Abbott. You're jealous. You don't have a heart. You've got people illegal that just died. you just got people that leave and die. 
That protester referring to Abbott's initial statement after the mass shooting when he labeled the five victims, quote, illegal immigrants in a tweet. After the outburst, police escorted a handful of protesters out of the church as Abbott's supporters cheered. God bless Greg Abbott. Yeah. Now, the governor's office, of course, did have to walk back that statement from earlier this week once they learned that one of the victims was, in fact, a permanent resident. But, of course, no apology, and that tweet does remain online. Again, the governor telling us tonight that he's praising law enforcement. No mention of the victims or their families, though. Back to you. Marcelino Benito on it. Thank you. We'll pick it up from here. Right now, our coverage continues online, where you can walk through the search and capture of Oropesa or learn more about the victims and how they will be remembered. It's all on KHU.com and the KHU 11 app.